Hey guys, Barbara here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I want to show you guys how to make box everything. Are you intrigued yet? Stay tuned. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Hello to my mother. Hi, the She's not shy, okay? <laughs> I guess Mario Ramirez from... Box 11. <laughs> you are on The Bear Pantry Show <laughs> in Utah. Every Sunday, potato salad, stewed chicken, rice and beans, and plantains. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Yeah. Off sales. I'm not Watching the Bear Pantry Show. Attack! <laughs> You're watching the Bear Pantry Show with my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's not hard to make box stuff. Look at this. See? These are all the box things that I have so far. I've got simple chocolate cake that I need to reload, banana muffins that I need to reload, blueberry muffins, and I have chocolate chip muffin that I have not used recently, and brownies that I've not used recently. So I think what we'll do at the end is we'll make one of these, just because. <laughs> so what you do is you gather your ingredients. It's gonna be cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda, sugar, and flour, right? So let's get these two out the way because these two are not needing to be reloaded. And let's reload the banana muffins. So I already rolled on the lid with a Sharpie. So you never want to mix your things in this bin. You want to dump this into another bin when you're going to make your stuff and then add your wet ingredient and then you just reload. <coughs> Sorry, reload. I got a frog in my throat. Because you don't want to wash this because then you're going to wash off your your thingy. And if there's a better idea that you guys have to where we can make this more purdy or whatever, let me know, okay? Come back and let me know. So I put the dry ingredients on the outside and I put the wet on the inside circle. So for the banana muffins, we're gonna have one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And that's it for the dry ingredients. When you're gonna make it, that's when you wanna add your wet ingredients. So what we're gonna do is just fill this. So let's fill this order, guys. Remember when you're doing flour, you just wanna scoop it up, clear off the top with a flat end knife or a spatula or something, all right? Don't pat it down. And dump it in here in a different container first. And what did I say, one and a half cups? So let me get my half cup. You guys having fun with me today making or box things, one and a half cups of flour. So that part's done. And then a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. So this is the baking soda. And then baking powder. By the way guys, you know how husbands bring their wives a bouquet of flowers, a bottle of wine, you know, I don't know. I don't drink alcohol, but I'm just saying. You know what my husband brings me? Every time he goes to the 99 cent store, two or three of these. <laughs> because he knows I can't afford this at the regular grocery store because it is uh, the good brand, Clapper Girl. And um, yeah, it's 99 cents at the 99 cent store. And he knows that I cook and bake a lot. Well, not cook, but bake, because you need baking powder to bake, right? So this is what he brings to me as romance. And guess what? I love it. <laughs> All right, so let me put, uh, what else did it call for? It did not call for any sugar in the dry ingredients part because the sugar is gonna be a part of the wet, but sometimes when I'm making these things, the sugar will be a part of the dry. But today for the banana muffins, I've found that it's better if you put the sugar as a part of the wet because when you squish the bananas and you mix it up with the sugar, it goes in a little bit easier. So no sugar this time around, just some cinnamon. So let me grab my cinnamon. Now all you wanna do is whisk this. And this is pretty much ready to dump into our bin. And then put the lid on. And this is ready. That's one box thing ready, one box banana muffins. So you guys get the idea, right? I'm just gonna measure the stuff now for the blueberry muffins. But I'm gonna stop now and tell you what the dry ingredients are. And you guys can probably pause the uh, video and get the wet ingredients too, right? Or maybe I'll, maybe I'll be nice and write it in the description this time. We'll see. So this is one and a half cups of flour again, two teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon of salt, 
and three quarters cup of um, sugar. So let's build this one. Blueberry muffins, all right? The reason why I didn't put any salt in the banana muffin bin is because it's made with butter and my butter is always salted. But um, if you don't use salted butter, I would put half a teaspoon of salt to that one, okay? And here's the sugar. And our blueberry muffin is pretty much ready to put into the container. Now the next one we're gonna do is a simple chocolate layered cake. You guys are gonna love that one. For this one, let me tell you what I've done. It's, I have two cups of sugar in there already, three quarters, uh, no, I'm sorry, not the cocoa yet. Two cups of sugar, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, a teaspoon and a half of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm adding one and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour and I'm sifting it because for this cake, it needs to be sifted. So to this, we're also going to be adding three quarters cup of baking cocoa. And you definitely need to sift this, okay, because this is lumpy. So let me measure this out. So just add the cocoa to that. And cocoa is messy, so get it away from your clothes. And we want to sift. See what I told you about the cocoa? It's lumpy. And because we pour up in here the bear pantry kitchen, we're going to press it too. We're not going to throw away them lumps. <laughs> my cameraman is close on my thing today, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get us a stir and dump it in the bin. And I think we've chosen which one we're going to make because we have three overripe bananas. So we're going to do the banana muffin one and then we're going to reload it again. But for this show, we're going to do the banana muffin. And one little quick note, try to use them often. I let them go for a couple of months before I use them from time to time. But use them often because you don't want your baking soda and your baking powder to go flat on you. So Jada always has friends coming over. I have people stopping by. And this is the easiest thing to do is grab one of these containers and go on ahead and just whip up something. The muffins will give you like a dozen of the small cupcake size. Oh, my hands are dirty. Or it'll give you a six of the, the real muffin size, okay? So I'm going to put this in the container, clean up this mess. When I come back, I'm going to be doing the banana muffins. Sometimes we have fun here behind the scenes because Joe is always going in and out the front door. By the way, I always have like extra cans of this, all right? When I go to the store, I pick up more because I'm always reloading. So like I said, we're going to do the banana muffins and we're going to do the small ones because I have a muffin tin here that a friend gave me. This friend has become a sponsor to the show and she bought this set for me. It came with a cookbook to teach us all types of muffins and stuff we could do in this which we're going to be doing here at the show. And then when you're done, you cover it up like this and you can take it with you to that thing that you're invited to, potluck, baby shower, whatever. So that's why I want to use this, all right? So the first thing that we're going to do is deal with the wet ingredients. We're going to have three quarter cups of sugar added to this thing with you right here. Remember I told you guys it just tends to do better with the muffins. And the sugar I do like the shake, scoop and shake. And then to this, we're going to add some melted butter, a third cup. I'm going to get everything out of here with a spatula in a second. Have you guys ever noticed that whenever you see cooking shows on TV, they use brown eggs? Why is that? I always wonder that. You never see white eggs on cooking shows. So this is, um, what do you call this, Jada? Homegrown eggs? This is straight up out of the fowl. They didn't, this didn't come from a store. So anywho... Uh, vanilla, one teaspoon. Thank you, Don and Marie, my Australian family, for giving me this vanilla and for donating to the show monthly. Shout out, shout out. And let's see. Oh, we're going to need, this is why we decided to do the banana one, guys, because these bananas are going bad. So we're going to do that. And in the meanwhile, I'm just going to grab um, egg, vanilla, melted butter, sugar, Oh, a whisk. Let me grab a whisk. Go ahead and give this a stir first. Just the butter and the sugar. Add in the egg. And this is why I don't add the sugar to my little bin. Because it does, it goes better like this. So this muffin at least. I'm going to put my extract right. So now all I have to add are these bananas and I'm just going to go ahead and squish them with a fork. Give me a second guys. 
Let me go ahead and take care of my muffin or cupcake tin first by lining it with these beautiful liners. Now it's time to squish the bananas. The recipe calls for one cup of overripe mashed bananas. So I found out that three bananas are like right at that sweet spot to make a cup. Sometimes you can get away with four if the bananas are small, but uh, try not to put too much, okay? Because then your muffins are gonna be like really overly wet. So let me go ahead and add this now to the wet ingredients. And then all that's left to do is to open our little bin that we just made and dump all the dry ingredients in. At this point, you can just put your bin back in the pantry empty or you can, you know, pause and go fill it back again. I usually like to leave it all empty and then pick a day when I'm going to load all my tubs like today. So just make sure everything is well incorporated. And then I'm using um, the 1 8 measuring cup to just put like a dollop in each little cupcake liner. And then I'll just go back over it again with the leftover batter to just fill the rest, okay? Beautiful, right? You like my little liners? See what I told you guys? You'll get 12 of the little ones and 6 of the big ones. We're doing the little ones today. And I'm bringing the oven up to temp. Let's see if I had that written on the thing. Yes, I did. Bake at 350 for 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Who needs to buy anything from the store in any box? Again, if you're crafty and you have a better idea to help me out to make this look more pretty, let me know, okay? In the meanwhile, I'm gonna wait for the oven to come up to temperature. It is at 275. And the oven is ready, so in they go. 30 minutes later, take a look. Check it with a toothpick, all right? Toothpick inserted must come out clean. Take a look at my tubs here. Check the description because I'm gonna have all these recipes there for you. I know that the stuff that I showed you today did not end up being in a box, they're in tubs or bins, but you guys get the idea, right? You don't have to go to the store to pick up these things like a pack cake, but these people say pack cake or a box cake, because you can make all this stuff from scratch. This can be stored for like up to three months. I wouldn't let them go past three months before using and reloading because like I said before, you don't want the leavening agents you know, to go flat on you. But these are so awesome for me because when people show up unexpectedly, and that happens a lot over here, especially Jada and her little friends, we could just grab one of these tubs, throw the wet ingredients, bake, and we have a nice snack to offer people. So I hope you guys try this, and I hope that you will come back and tell me what all you've created. Maybe you can do like cornbread or something. I really don't like cornbread, so that's why I don't have that. I only have the stuff that I like. <laughs> but you go do your own stuff and come back and tell me, okay? And I am going to go ahead and write this... Um, all the ingredients, the wet and dry ingredients and the stuff in the description. It's, oh my God, that's going to be work. That's why I don't like writing stuff in the description because it's a lot of work. But I'll do that for you guys this time around so that you can just uh, copy and paste it. And you can go create your own bins because I really want you to do that, okay? Take a look at my sponsor board. You guys are so amazing and awesome. Your donations help to keep the show going, okay? Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And expect your harvest to come, all right? Don't ever give without expectation. You always have to expect something to come back from God, from God. And he will use men. So somebody will show up in your life that will give to you just like how you guys have given to me. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up the video. Please share it for me. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the vlog, Babs Bear Talk. Check out the review, Bear Pantry Talk. Oh my God, these names are so similar. Why did I name these channels like this? <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys again real soon. Au revoir. Hey guys, if you like what you see here, you may like my vlog channel. Head on over to youtube.com forward slash Talk to get caught up on what's going on behind the scenes of the cooking channel, what's coming up next, and what's going on in my daily life.